This week's topic of Amuna Mondays was sponsored by a couple of members that go and visit Gabby on a weekly basis. And it's in honor of our full, full, full speedy recovery for Chaya Gabrielle Masauda Bat Sara, as well as a Leule Nishmat for Roger Asher Ben Marcel. May his neshama have the ultimate, ultimate aliyah. So it starts off, this week's topic is, what does Hashem want from us? And I didn't say you, I said us, because it's there's something that Hashem wants from every single person that is a general statement and not the specific individual mission which each and every person has. There is a purpose and reason for every single person. This is more of a, what does Hashem want from us as humans, as people, as Jewish people, as anyone? What does Hashem want for us? And there's one thing that classif- like would sum up the whole entire thing. And that is simply that Hashem wants us to simply choose Him. He wants to be chosen. It's not, oh, um, I don't know any other choice, so this is why I do this. I mindlessly follow the Torah. I mindlessly do this, this, this. No, it's full knowledge choosing, making a choice. And how do how, how can a statement be said like that? It's because simply... Every single day in our life, at every moment, we're constantly being tested. What's the point of constantly testing? I get it once in a while. It's kind of like to see, hey, where are we holding? But I'm talking five times in an hour, 20 times in an hour. I'm talking every single time. Do I pray? Do I not pray? Do I wake up? Do I not wake up? Should I go? Should I not? Should I talk to this person? Should I? You're constantly facing decisions and tests throughout the entire day. And it's like the only re- reason that would make complete sense is Hashem wants us to simply choose Him. Choosing Him can be also factoring Him in. Factor Him into the equation. You know, we mindlessly go about our day and this and that. Oh, let's say in the beginning of the day, I wake up, I pray, do nitilat yadayim, all these things. But like, I don't even give it thought. It becomes a habit. It's good, but it's not ideal. And again, we have... Every person has struggles. Every person has challenges in this world. Why? The point's not, God does not want us losing. He doesn't want to harm us. Simply with challenges comes growth. And a challenge is considered a test. What's the point of the test? Hashem wants us to factor him, put him, add him into the equation. Oh, I'm dealing with, oh, I don't know what job to apply to. All right. For face value, right. I don't know what job to apply to. But now factor in Hashem into the equation. Which job is going to allow me to uh participate in jewish activities and following the torah easier this that whatever it is factor at least just factor it in that's what hashem wants simply us to choose him and then that will then opens up the question and opens up the whole topic of what does hashem want from you individually if you're following the torah that mission's going that 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 goal and that purpose is going to come to you it's going to you're going to figure it out why because the whole point of the torah the whole torah is a guidebook it's a simple guide it's guiding you to a a a beautiful life can you get it other places i'm sure you can you're just not going to get it as good as through the torah and it's like when you factor god into the equation and you make him a priority and you choose god you'll naturally hashem's guiding you he's just guiding you down your individual purpose and that's what people a lot of people struggle with in life is just what does god want from me what does god want from me the truth is are you putting god first are you factoring god first are you choosing him or are you just going about your day and a when it's convenient i apply him you know rather make him a priority make build things around hashem like i'm taking this job because this job allows me to make this minyan blah 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 factor him into the equation don't just oh you know this i have free time left over what am i going to do with the free time oh you know it makes sense to yeah why not go try out a minyan or oh um participate in this, this like no let's don't don't make it a leftover it's fine but that's not that, that shouldn't be the goal the goal should be making hashem a priority how does one make a hashem a priority simply choose him you have a choice Acknowledge God, don't acknowledge God. Do this, don't do that. You have a choice. When you choose God, that's what He wants. And how do we know that? Because once you start choosing God and make Him a priority, you'll naturally see your life getting better. You will. And it's just something that that 
is a is, it's it's a complete fact. When you factor God into the equation, He has no reason to shake things up. He has no reason to rock your boat because you're you're already acknowledging Him. You're already choosing Him. And it's like that's simply what Hashem wants. If you feel like your life is going upside down, and you don't know what to do. This that simply choose Hashem and take it from there. And don't choose Him with an ultimatum. Oh God, if you do that, no, no, no. Choose Him wholeheartedly, and you'll see things will brighten up. So that was this week's topic. It was very straightforward. It was Hanukkah. It was the second night. So thank God we lit the menorah. And yeah, hope everyone has an, an amazing, amazing week. Chag Sameach. And yeah, again, the names were Chaya Gabriel Masauda Bat Sarah. May she have a full, full, full immediate recovery. As well as the Ule Nishmat for Roger, Asher, Ben Marcel. May his Neshama have an ultimate, ultimate Aliyah. Take care. So this week's topic is what does Hashem want from us? And before we begin, the class is actually dedicated to two people. Um, this one is actually sponsored by a couple of the members that go and visit Gabby on a weekly basis. We wanted to dedicate it to Gabby. So it's Chaya Gabrielle Masauda Batsara. May her may she have a full, full, full immediate recovery. As well as Lule Nishmat for Roger Asher Ben Marcel. May his Nishama have the ultimate ultimate video. So we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, um, an aura lighting real quick. Ron and only Ron. Okay. Chairman. 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 Amen. <laughs> Amen.